All right, so first of all, I just want to say that I, I really hope you all had a great um, Thanksgiving. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I meant to send that wish out to you earlier to really <coughs> say in the middle of all this hard work you've been doing, you had a time to take a break, and now I'm sure that you you are all extra burned out um, and done. Um, what we need to do right now, though, is we need to hang in there. <coughs> We're coming to the end of the semester. Many of you have been working really hard. And I don't want you to, um, um, you know, lose that momentum. Um, essentially, if you've kept up this far and you're doing everything you need to, you you are on you are on track and you're fine. What I do need you to do though is that uh, this week I'm going to start putting in zeros in the blackboard. I'm letting a lot of you bring in late work, but what you need to understand is that. Um, if, if I haven't put any grade into an assignment and you have not finished it, it's not showing up on your percentage. So you don't actually, that's not your real grade. Um, and so what I need to do this week is I need to put zeros where you have not um, put in some work so you can see what your actual grade is. You, I will still let you turn in late work, but if you have a lot or it's from a long time ago, you need to contact me and have a discussion about that. Don't just presume anything, okay? And for those of you who are, are, are getting behind, communication with me, please, okay? Don't just send me an assignment two to three weeks later. Um, you owe me an explanation or at least a discussion, you know. Um, I, I don't need to hear, like, a lot of personal details. You don't have to grovel. You just, you, don't, you need to be in the habit to realize that that's not a normal thing that you could do with your professor. And I tend to be more lenient on this. But I don't want you to be in that habit, okay? This is not going to happen, especially if there's an exam of you just randomly turning in a really late exam without having talked to your professor about it. So you need to, like, just be aware of that, okay? So, <clears throat> um, unfortunately, um, I've had some suspicions, and I haven't been focusing on this, but uh, several of you just plagiarized from papers. Plagiarism is when you take a chunk out of another website, right, and make it look like it's your own and with no credit given to that website. And it's really obvious. Um, I can just cut and paste a sentence and look and find them. And so um, right now what I'm going to do is this. I'm giving you an opportunity, those of you who did this, um, need to contact me within the next few days. I'm going to be busy all day tomorrow. So like say Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, you need to come up and just kind of take responsibility and talk to me about this. Um, I'm not in the mood of trying to make grown people cry, okay? I had a semester where really quality students just got desperate at the end. They got tired. And, um, you know, they, they did this. And... Um, uh, it's an unfortunate, but if you do not contact me by Wednesday, and you did this, you're failing my class, and I'm going to give you some very um, strong responses into um, the consequences to this, okay? Um, it's just a bad habit. I want to break it from you. I want to scare you out of it. I, I really want you to feel the gravity of what, what consequence can happen when you do this. Please don't, okay? And those of you who did... Again, you have till Wednesday, okay? Now, um, if you're worried that you did, okay, sometimes I get people that overthink it. Um, if you're second-guessing yourself right now, most likely you didn't do it, okay? But if you took a chunk out of some place on the Internet or somewhere else and then you just slapped it into your essay and pawning this off as your information, that's plagiarism. Um... And so you just need to address that with me now, okay? So that's all. And, um, I, yeah, we, we, you, you just need to contact me. I know it's a little bit embarrassing. We've all, um, I've been in a situation one time where I had to come to terms with some unwise choice I made in college, and I was lucky that my professor um, would listen to me. I, I, it, it was an accidental form uh, of plagiarism, but it, but I did, I, I was sloppy in what I did, and it could have grave consequences for my academic life. So, okay, you need to, you need to deal with that, okay? Now, um, <clears throat> here we are coming on to the end uh, uh, with the Civil War. Many of the papers that I've been getting, I can tell all 
that many of you have not watched the silent film, The Birth of a Nation. And I realize it's not a very exciting film for most of you. Um, but you should at least be watching enough to get an understanding of uh, what the message is, okay, and why I wanted you to watch it and have an opinion. Um, I mean, because essentially it's a celebration of the Ku Klux Klan, and it was a blockbuster hit, and it was a, an apologist film for the Confederacy and a rom romanticization of it. And um, there were some certain scenes that I wanted you to address. Um, many of you are not, and I think a lot of you probably didn't like watch it with much detail. You know, that's all right um, in the sense that, again, it was Thanksgiving week, and we're getting at the end of things. But um, you will be enriched having watched, if you, if you have watched some, uh, a good chunk of that film, because you're never going to do it again. And college is about sometimes forcing us to get to... to actually take first-hand experience in certain things that we're not going to do on our own and you will see that this name of this movie gets dropped a lot of places and you'll have the, at least the advantage of knowing that you saw firsthand what was in that film and, and the message of it um and uh okay so so here we are um this is the the lectures on the u.s civil war and um if you want to debate any of the things that I have, please, please, please incorporate them. That's okay. Um, I do make definitive statements, and I put in videos saying that the Civil War was about slavery only. But if you want to make an argument that it wasn't anywhere, and you want to throw me some sources, I'm not going to dock you for that. Okay? You're, you'll never be um, judged by me in, in your grading based on your inter like on your interpretation or opinion about history, especially if you do provide some other sources. You can say this is your position. I can say that I disagree that it's strong or weak, in, you know, in my opinion. But you won't be face any uh, um, consequence for that, okay? Um, especially if you actually are attempting to bring some alternative information in. Um, that's it. So look, um, we're moving forward and we're breaking down to the end. And um, I'll be in touch with you guys as needed.